Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a spooky uh, lookbook, uh, lookbook, a um, whole bunch of different uh, eyeshadow and makeup looks from a whole bunch of different palettes in this case. Since we're uh, just now getting into October, some spooky looks spooky ookie looks. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I have on. And uh, let's see, I did go ahead and start with the Super Stay C Plus and 102. Um, I added in some of the Lumi Glotion for um, the base and I also had some of the e.l.f. bronzing drops in the rose gold so this is what I have on for my base did go ahead and use the uh, Pretty Fresh by Colourpop for my concealer and let's see what else did I go ahead and do today everything um, the black lip gloss is actually one I got from Juvia's Place and so I thought it went pretty well with this look. I do have the Sungasm powder on as a finishing powder. This is by Catrice. And then as far as what I used for my bronzer today, um, I did go ahead and use the Sunrise by Flower Beauty. And this one has sort of a mauve sort of tone to it. And then for the base, for the... Uh, <clears throat> blush today went ahead and used this this by the or it's part of the nightmare before Christmas by wet and wild collection this is barrel of scares and so I went ahead and used this as the base for my blush and then I used some of the Moira and this is foxy pink over the top as a topper and uh, again for Moira or Moira uh, the dream light as the actual highlighter. So that's what I have on there. And as far as my actual, this is such fun, I'm glad that I picked this up. Uh, this is from NYX and it's part of their Beetlejuice collection and it has um, black eyeliner liquid on one side and then on the other side it has um, yeah, little uh, shimmer and so I used the shimmer right on the waterline and the black right under. And um, these are really fun. They're uh, part of the Beetlejuice collection. And I think they have, uh, this one has a green, a green shimmer. And then some of them have a blue shimmer. And is it a red shimmer? I think there's a red pink shimmer in there as well. So anyway, as far as what I did for the actual look, I got out the Scooby-Doo by Glam Light, the Rutro Reggae, and um, went ahead and did a look uh, going ahead and using this on the lid, and then this on the outer corner. And um, let's see, oh, I used a little bit of this from here to here as well. And um, other than that, that's sort of the way that the look came out. And so it has black green and uh, blue green here. Again, that's how it turned out. And so that'll be our first, um, yeah, our first look in the lookbook. And it's from the Scooby Doo Rep Ro Raggy by Glamlight. And we'll get on to the next look in just a second here. Hi, it's Adrian back with uh, look number two. And so I went ahead and used the same base and everything. Um, did go ahead and add some more of the barrel of scares as far as the blush goes. And then this time what I did was um, actually use the Glam Light uh, Scooby Doo highlighter as well. And uh, with this one, it's actually just plain glitter. So there really isn't any base to it or anything. You can definitely go ahead and see the blush underneath. And like I said, this particular um, highlighter is all glitter. Again, this is from the Glam Light, the Scooby-Doo. And then um, the look is actually from the Scooby-Doo as well. So uh, this one is a Creeps and Crawls. Ooh. And it's... Like I said, I use my palettes, and so I do tend to get them all dirty. Um, I would, you know, suggest definitely 
getting this out for the Halloween season and so this is what I went ahead and did as far as the look goes today and I did go ahead and use um, this color right on or right in the crease and then I went ahead and put this purple uh, right on the lid and that's uh, basically the only eyeshadow that I have on here it's just it's really dark eyeshadow um, I did go ahead and use this it's a duochrome eyeliner along the bottom and this one is by um, let's see Avril and you can get this off of Timu or Timu, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, the lips are the same from the last time and so that's going to be the Juvia's Place Black Gloss with a little bit of the Metaglow by Essence on top of it. So as far as the way that the eye look worked out and I think I also put oh I put a little bit of the white eyeliner uh, right in the waterline as well and um, the uh, essence make me brow in the dark brown so uh, that's the way the look turned out and I'll be back with another one in just a moment here. okay so it's Adrian back again with another one of the spooky looks and so did go ahead and change the lip for this one went ahead and did the um, let's see where to go here it is uh, so this is one of the sandworm um, butter glosses from NYX from the Beetlejuice collection and this is um, the Meta Glow from Essence. So I have these two on and that's how that worked out and then as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes I got out the Cosmic Come Up and this is by She Glam. It came out last year right during Halloween and that's actually more aliens but it does have some really cute colors in it and so this is the way that it looks as far as the actual palette itself. Um, I did go ahead and put this one on the inner corner and then I did go ahead and put this shimmer all over the lid. As far as what I did in the crease, I did this dark green, I did this dark um, blue right um, from the brow bone all the way up to right under the brow itself and as far as my actual liner I got out again the Avril and these are the duochrome eyeliners that you can get over at Timu or Timu and then again from last time I do have on the Scooby-Doo highlighter and I do have both of these on so this one is actually a duochrome goes gold to pink and then this one is actually just plain gold glitter and so uh, that's what I have on there as well as some of the Nightmare Before Christmas the Barrel of Scares and where did that go? that one apparently oh here it is so yeah I have this one on as base and then uh, the Scooby-Doo highlighter and these are so fun they're holographic well some of the packaging from Scooby-Doo is holographic and this one is and so it yeah it turns you either have Scooby or you have the ghouls so um, but anyway that's what I went ahead and did for this look the base is all the same I didn't go ahead and change any of that but um, if you do have this palette, I would suggest to go ahead and get it out for the, because, uh, you know, it's that time of year and you want to do some uh, Scooby Scary looks. So uh, this is the next one. And <clears throat> I'll be back in a second with the next one. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, it's Adrian back again with another scary look for Halloween and a scary lookbook. And so this time I got out some classic ColourPop to go ahead and do a look with. And so I started off with the Hocus Pocus. This is the original Hocus Pocus palette and it's considered to be a classic ColourPop palette it is. We ask every year for them to bring it back and they never do but that's okay because we all understand and so I went ahead and I started with this one on the crease or in the crease. I did this one right above it 
and then I went ahead and did this brown color in the outer corner and um, did go ahead and use a ColourPop gel eyeliner as far as my actual eyeliner and then as far as what I did to finish the look got out a different ColourPop palette this one is Blow and Smoke it's another really good one for Halloween or for you know just doing spooky looks in general um, I went ahead and used this pretty gray and this is what I consider to be one of the icon or iconic uh, ColourPop uh, looks or actually the shades. I mean this one, this is what they brought out when they did their 10 year anniversary. They were sending out if you went ahead and made a purchase of their 10 year palette, you got a free um, silver as long as supplies lasted and so I got one and so I consider this to be a complete iconic color pop color and I went ahead and used it right in here and then right under the brow as well so um, yeah it's a really fun color I'm gonna put it shouldn't go ahead and waste it so there's uh, the way that that and then the way that it actually came out was kind of like this so um, yeah, these are all looks that have a lot of impact from a lot of darker palettes that are really popular during uh, the spooky Halloween time. And so like I said, um, I got out one of the classic ColourPop palettes and did what I hope is hope it's a classic ColourPop look. And then I also used the NYX um, one of the sandworms from the Beetlejuice collection and I put a little bit of the Metaglow from Essence on top of it so yeah this is what this look kind of turned out to be and um, yeah uh, a major silver look I guess is what I kind of did there and I'll be back in just a moment and uh, It'll be a moment for you, but a little longer for me. Hi, Adrian back, and so I had one last scary look to go ahead and show. And the Dreamscape uh, palette, this one is by Profusion. And um, with Profusion, you can usually find it in Walmart, or you can go ahead and order it from their website or off of Amazon. And so what I did was I used a combination of these three. It's a navy blue, a gray, and a black. And I went ahead and used those on the outer corner. And then as far as uh, the lid shade, it's going to be this green here. I did go ahead and use this blue, and I used it from here to here. Um, I did use a little bit of this pretty champagne uh, right under the brow and I did mix a little bit of the blue with it and um, I did go ahead and use the blue as the actual um, eyeliner so I used the navy blue as the eyeliner here this way that it turned out I think it came out pretty fun especially if for you know wearing Halloween a little bit deeper a little bit spookier looks and again I uh, did go ahead and use the same the uh, Sandworms NYX Butter Gloss and um, these from the Beetlejuice movie and the Metaglow as well so that's the way that the look turned out and so I think that's all the scary um, looks that I'm doing for today and if you have any of these palettes definitely get them out and do a couple of looks during this fun holiday and I guess that's the whole video and I'll see you later. Bye!